Whenever Tesla prepares to introduce a feature and innovation for its Model EVs, two main viewpoints always emerge. First, excitement, then criticism. With this major update, we believe everything will be fiercely debated more than ever when Elon Musk brings airless tires to at least two new Tesla models this year. Many might appreciate it because you'll save a lot of money on tire replacements over the years since they're three times more durable than conventional tires. However, many will surely react strongly due to its drawbacks. So, is Tesla's design right or wrong? You may or may not have noticed this, but Tesla EVs rarely come with spare tires. And no matter what kind of car you have, you'll eventually need to replace them. And if your mileage is really bad, your tires will wear out faster than normal. With Tesla EVs, the cost of new tires varies depending on factors like the shop, the brand, the quality of the tire, and the size. According to America's Tire, new Tesla Model Y tires cost between $195 and $450 each. In the case of tires that need general maintenance, you can expect to pay between $35 and $100 for rotations and alignments, which is quite expensive. So, what if Tesla used a special tire? Specifically, Tesla is said to be negotiating with the tire giant Michelin to use their latest airless tire technology in its electric vehicle line. As we know, this is not actually a new accessory on the market, but for Tesla, it's truly something that has never appeared before. Airless tires have been around for a long time, but they've not been widely used in cars because they're still being improved to the best quality before replacing traditional ones. Why does Tesla use airless tires? There are many reasons why Tesla wants to put this new type of tire into its EVs, but the biggest reason must be its superiority over traditional tires along with Elon's vision of the future. He clearly sees that airless tires will be a popular trend for automakers, so he decided to let Tesla go first and become a pioneer with these tires, even though it's been tested on the 2019 Chevy Bolt. The introduction of a new accessory on Tesla vehicles could start with a Model Y refresh project, often referred to as Juniper. Airless tires could also be applied to the more affordable model as part of an effort to make it fresher after transitioning from the new production line unbox process to a more traditional production line like that of the Model 3. The Model Y will incorporate some new details to ensure it doesn't resemble a tiny Model Y. The upcoming RoboTaxi launch in August may not adopt these tires simply because they may not be suitable for the application. What are the advantages of airless tires? Michelin is the world's leading tire manufacturer, along with Lego and Goodyear. Things got a little crazy when CEO Florent Mangano confirmed that the company had used new tire technology for Tesla cars. These tires are called Uptis tires, which stands for Unique Puncture Proof Tire System, and it's no exaggeration to say that this is a pretty unique design for the car industry, especially in that it's airless, puncture proof, and based on an open cell design. Airless tires basically utilize the power of a unique synthetic material with a layer of rubber bonded to it. Inside the tires is a flexible honeycomb mesh that can bend and flex according to road conditions and vehicle weight. Before discussing its efficiency for electric vehicle performance, we need to address its aesthetics first. Simply put, we don't think anyone would want to buy a set of tires that affect the appearance of their vehicle. Fairly speaking, compared to conventional tires, Airless ones would really suit those pursuing a sporty and dynamic look. They're pretty cool. If they do show up on Tesla EVs in the future, we believe they'll attract significant attention due to their unique, fresh design that diverges from traditional tire structures. While traditional tires are inflated with compressed air to create pressure and maintain their shape, as the vehicle moves, the tire contacts the road surface, creating friction to help the vehicle grip the road and move. The grooves on the tire surface help drain water when driving on wet roads, reducing the risk of skidding. But airless tires seem to be somewhat different. As the tire rolls forward, it naturally bends down and around small obstacles, providing much greater flexibility than standard tires with air inside. Importantly, they're uniquely puncture resistant, as no air is lost if the tire rolls over a sharp object. The tire uses an open cell design with a flexible mesh of spokes that flex and adjust to road conditions and vehicle weight. The rubber is attached to the outside of the tire, allowing it to naturally bend around small obstacles, making it much more flexible than a standard pneumatic tire, and it's essentially impossible to deflate. With airless tires, you don't have to keep an eye on tire pressure. Not only does this save you time, it eliminates any premature wear caused by flat tires. 
Its inner radius can be adjusted to meet desired performance characteristics. Its hardness can be individually adjusted during acceleration, braking, cornering, and collision handling. With this special type of tire, even the handling characteristics of cobblestone roads can be adjusted to eliminate the need for independent suspension systems on certain types of vehicles. Holes can be drilled through the tire tread to allow water drainage, greatly enhancing aquaplaning resistance. Michelin has announced that its Uptus tire will have a lifespan three times longer than conventional tires, helping to reduce tire waste and emissions from tire wear. According to Michelin, around 200 million conventional tires per year end up on landfills prematurely due to wear. The durability of Uptus tires not only reduces the number of discarded tires, but also contributes to sustainable practices. Each year, Americans spend about $20 billion on passenger and light truck tire replacements. While the lifespan of passenger tires has increased significantly compared to 30 years ago, most still need a replacement after three to five years of use. The use of airless tires could provide an effective solution to extending tire life and protecting the environment. You can see, clearly airless tires have many advantages, and when Tesla introduces them for some of its models, this will certainly be well received by the majority. However, it cannot be denied that there will also be many people who do not like this new feature due to the, some of the challenges it poses. What are the disadvantages of airless tires? It's not by chance that a promising innovation like this has been slow to launch for many years, which also reminds us of certain battery technologies for electric vehicles. Despite their great potential to improve EV performance, they have not yet become widespread. The reason is that there are still many obstacles hindering them, and airless tires are no exception. Airless tires typically have 20% higher rolling resistance than conventional tires and provide less suspension than similarly shaped and sized pneumatic tires, as we observe that airless tires have a larger surface area in contact with the ground. There's no denying that the larger contact area can improve traction, especially in wet or slippery driving conditions. This can have a safety benefit. However, on the contrary, higher rolling resistance means the vehicle will require more energy to move. This could potentially reduce the driving range of electric vehicles as the battery depletes faster. Electric vehicles already need energy optimization to extend the range, so high rolling resistance is a disadvantage. Tesla EVs typically have an average range of over 300 miles, a figure that's quite stable. While airless tires offer many advantages, if they reduce the range, it could be concerning. Not stopping there, many are even more concerned that if Tesla uses airless tires because the open design of these wheels seems prone to accumulating dirt and mud in unfavorable road conditions, Tesla EVs could become unbalanced and create a bumpy ride until debris is cleared. Others living in areas with frequent heavy snow are particularly aware of this issue with the new tires, believing they'll get stuck almost immediately upon entering snowy areas. As we mentioned earlier, airless tires are not entirely new. They're just new to Tesla. Part of the reason that they haven't been widely adopted is because they're heavier by 30 to 45% compared to Tesla's current tires. While they offer the benefit of not getting punctured by a nail, they are heavier due to all the structural beams needed to support the tire's head. Therefore, not only affecting range, the acceleration capability with these new tires could also be a concern for performance enthusiasts. Some opinions suggest that Tesla EVs may not be able to reach 90 miles an hour on highways with these tires. However, when Tesla considers these drawbacks, surely they've been addressed in some way. For example, Michelin may have discovered a lighter compound to reduce the weight of airless tires. Another note is that these tires are likely to be affected by temperature because they're made of polymer, and like any material, they'll exhibit different characteristics at different temperatures. They also appear to be using conventional rubber on the road contacting surface, which is also temperature sensitive. We don't want to list too many disadvantages of this new tire, but the truth is it's definitely stiffer and affects the ride comfort and more road noise affects the driver's experience. What price of airless tires for Tesla to consider? We don't know if this is true, but some sources also indicate airless tires are typically four times more expensive than regular ones. While tire prices have not been announced by Michelin, some sources speculate that consumers can expect airless tires to cost more than 25% than regular tires. And they say that if you don't mind paying $500 to $1,000 per tire, airless tires are a great option. That's probably true because at least there aren't that many on these on the market yet, so they're probably going to be expensive to produce in the early stages. However, we are still optimistic about the cost of these because airless tires certainly require less raw materials and less energy to produce them. 
The supplier will certainly reduce a lot of materials to produce these tires. And moreover, considering the durability of airless tires and the savings on replacement tires is also a factor to consider when comparing the cost with normal tires. Michelin thinks that airless tires will last about three times longer than normal tires, which is great financially. The reduction in rubber and metal materials ultimately makes them better for the environment, and their design features will last three times longer than normal ones. Michelin has been testing UPUS tires on the Chevy Bolt and has open discussions with GM about using them on its electric vehicles. Right now, these tires are still prototypes, so you can't buy them yet, but they could be available as early as the end of next year, and Tesla may soon be testing Model Y prototypes running on airless tires before deciding to use them for Project Juniper. It's worth noting that these aren't the first airless tires we've seen, but this particular design seems to have some Model 3 motivation, which has been tested for some time. Moving on to the content next besides airless tires that Tesla's planning to apply, for many years, the profession of long-term truck drivers has always been a big topic of discussion because their career is quickly shortened due to poor health conditions. Focusing on driving trucks on routes of thousands of miles greatly affects sleep and movement. So what if Tesla Semi is launched under FSD this year when some leaks reveal that the electric truck will soon have this feature? How will the leaked Tesla Semi get the FSD feature? It seems like Tesla may still be undertaking some initial work on developing the Tesla Semi's driver assistance system. This has been hinted at in a recent sighting of the electric Class 8 truck near Gigafactory, Nevada with an extended sensor suite on its roof, resembling LiDAR sensors previously seen on other test vehicles. A video of the Tesla Semi quickly gained traction on social media platforms like X. The sensors on the roof of the Tesla Semi have caught the attention of electric vehicle enthusiasts as they appear quite similar to LiDAR sensors previously spotted on some test vehicles. Tesla primarily uses LiDAR arrays to gather information and validate visual data on their test vehicles. Although this has caused some confusion among Tesla critics due to Musk's negative comments on using LiDAR in production vehicles, a patent from the electric car manufacturer noted that auxiliary sensors such as radar, LiDAR, or other sensors could be used to collect training data that could subsequently be used to train machine learning models. With this perspective, Tesla indeed appears to be undertaking some initial work related to developing driver assistance functions for the Tesla Semi. Currently, the Tesla Semi does not feature autopilot or FSD. However, Tesla's official website mentions that Class 8 electric trucks are equipped with active safety features combined with advanced motor and braking controls to provide unparalleled traction and stability in all conditions. This suggests Tesla is focusing on enhancing safety and potentially laying the groundwork for future autonomous driving capabilities in the Tesla Semi. The Tesla Semi now has an attractive choice for fleet owners because it's a fully electric vehicle, which inherently has advantages over its internal combustion engine counterparts. However, Tesla vehicles are not just great because they're electric. They're even more appealing due to systems like autopilot and FSD, which greatly enhance their capabilities, safety, and convenience compared to conventional vehicles. Needless to say, with autopilot and FSD, the Tesla Semi can truly be a groundbreaking vehicle. While FSD is gradually reaching its final refinement through software updates, airless tires have also been a long-standing dream in the industry for many years. Despite significant advantages, numerous drawbacks have prevented this concept from becoming a reality. Perhaps one reason for their limited adoption is that Michelin isn't prepared to manufacture enough quantities for the market. Additionally, airless tires are not yet common on cars, perhaps because they are new and people are apprehensive about change. The global tire market requires 3. billion units annually as of 2022, with a projected growth rate of 4.9%. This makes it a market worth $258 billion. Traditional tires are difficult to dispose of and recycle. An affordable airless tire with performance comparable to pneumatic ones could be a game changer in the market reducing waste by decreasing the number of tires thrown away. Moreover, slower wear means less microplastics in the environment, which is fantastic. Regulatory bodies might mandate such tires to minimize difficult-to-handle tire waste. Even capturing a small segment of the $258 billion market could yield substantial profits. Michelin's Air Tire represents a significant leap in tire technology, offering substantial benefits in durability, fuel efficiency, and environmental protection. Although acceptance within the automotive industry is still limited, successful trials suggest airless tires could soon become a new standard for both electric and conventional vehicles. Ultimately, Tesla might lead in implementing this technology, potentially catalyzing significant changes in how automakers approach tire technology in the near future. 
But ultimately, Airless is still in the prototype stage, and it's unclear if it'll be available to consumers, although Michelin says it could be available by the end of the year. You can check out one of Michelin's videos on airless tires to get a better idea of what this particular tire is all about. And we think you'll have plenty to think about when it comes to this technology. So what do you think about using airless tires and FSD for the upcoming Tesla Semi? Is this the right move for Elon and his electric vehicles? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.